change the denominations is out of control. You got so many denominations. There's about thousands of Christian denominations. Thousands, literally, not exaggerating, thousands. And it got so bad that they had to create a dom denomination called non-denomination. Really? <laughs> say that he's your president and not our president you're not really somebody who's that 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 doesn't make sense let's start there now i've i've been thinking for the past couple months and i've been seeing something happen in the spiritual world I've been seeing something happen in the spiritual world and it's pretty amazing to me. Like it really, it's amazing and scary at the same time because what I see, like wherever there's really bad, there's really good. And it works the same with whenever there's night, there'll eventually be day, vice versa, right? Wherever there's pain, there's also going to be joy and happiness, right? It's, it's, it, it just, it, it is what it is, right? So, how I see this thing, and what I see with my own eyes, and I'm in the spiritual world, what I see with my own eyes is that there's never been a time in my life where more people were, they're, where, where more people were interested in the spiritual world and there were wasn't more there wasn't a time in my life where people were more open to getting to know God more than they are since Donald Trump became president and I, I'm thinking so d far into this thing I'm thinking like man I wonder how many more people would be saved if he got reelected not that I would vote for him I'm not I'm not a Donald Trump supporter, but I'm just saying separate from the separate from that and just hear what I'm trying to tell you. Is it true or is it not true that Donald Trump is doing some foul stuff and he's breaking the, the he, he's doing some things that are confusing people. But at the same time, you got to also say to do Donald Trump. People, I mean, people who aren't spiritual have become spiritual because they're like, this thing, th the world might be about to end coming up here soon. Like something going on. You get, I know the churches that I've been going to, people have been getting baptized. There have been abundance of people. Like there was a point where I was going to visiting other churches and it, the numbers were minimal. Like one, maybe two, maybe you know, three is on a really good day, but that only happened like once a year. Like you see people in abundance being more in tune and wanting to get closer to their a relationship with God. So now the question that we have to deal with is we have to deal with, are we doing the best job that we can for those that believe in God? Are we doing our best job taking advantage of this moment to help and bring people closer to God. Because I tell you this, if we keep, if we, if we have our focus off right now, us as spiritual leaders, right? Us of spiritual leaders, not religious, because religion causes confusion, and when there's religion, we're fighting over, no, you should come to this religion. No, you should come to this religion. And then you should come to this religion. And then the people we're trying to expose this to, they're, 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 now they're thinking, they're like, what, what, what should I go here? Or, wait, should I go here? Should I? And they missed it. They didn't get it purified. Where we should really just be like, come on in, everybody. What, whatever spiritual beliefs you have, come on in. We have one common goal and there, there's a God, right? Well, you know, the Muslims call him Allah, but it's the same thing, right? 
So I want to be very clear. A lot of our religious leaders, spiritual leaders, they're, they're, we're not taking advantage of, it's so easy right now. It's so easy. It's so easy to get someone to be open about spiritual, like getting a better connection with God right now. It's never been easier since I've been alive. It's never been easy. It's like trying to attract bees with just a cup or with a cup of honey. Right now, it's a cup of honey. All you got to pretty much do is look at what he's doing. Look at what the administration's doing. Look at what's going on in the world and talk about the goodness of what God is doing for you. Stop trying to be perfect and just be a human being that has a relationship with God. It's never been easier. It's easy right now. But like I said before, we have to come to that conclusion. Like, yo, this dude has a lot of people getting closer to God because of the mayhem and the craziness that's going on. It's all tied in. People talking even about global warming, right? People talk, look at all these mass shootings and gun control. This is like open season. Like how easier can it be to get a growing ministry or get the growing conversation talking about having a better relationship with God? Look at what happened. What happened at the in Texas, right? There's 26 people killed during church service. We thought the South Carolina thing with Dylan Roof was bad. That was less than 10 people, I believe. So the numbers is going higher. It's open season to at least be taught. But you, we can't, we, we cannot scare people when we're talking about God. Because God is not a scary person. God is not a scary person. We scaring people away. We're, we look just as scary as however you perceive Donald Trump to be. We look just as scary. As soon as somebody come up in your church, you, 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 you judging them from the door. I mean, they may stay that day, but they ain't going to come back. Now's the time. We, we got to drop everything and just be like, yo, you believe in God? Oh, what up? What up? Uh, you believe in God? What up? What up? Uh, we talking about black and white issues. Why can't black and white people get along? Why can't religious groups get along? What is that about? That needs to be some civil rights there for religious activists. Where's the religious activists like, yo, are we serious? Talking about black and white, black versus white, cops versus black people, cops and unarmed people. Well, let's talk about the people who, where, where they're supposed to be able to run to. They're supposed to be able to run to a higher power. But now we, 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 we're so, and y'all seen what I talked about before. The religious things, the denominations is out of control. You got so many denominations. There's about... Thousands of Christian denominations, thousands, literally, not exaggerating, thousands. And it got so bad that they had to create a denomination called non-denomination. Really? Dental problems don't get better the longer you wait. They just get worse and more expensive. The number one dental plan in America today guarantees to save you 20 to 80% on all dental procedures you can get done in the dental office. Regular teeth cleanings all the way up to cosmetic dentistry. No waiting periods. Contact a benefit consultant immediately to find out what open enrollment specials are available in your state today. 888-674-9409 We're running away good people that want to know God. We're, we're, we are. It just is the way it is. Like It should be like, you should, like, and another thing is like, why is it weird for you, like, why is it weird for some religious leaders or some religious people to visit other religious uh, places? Like, people look at me crazy because I've been to a mosque before. Like, what am I doing in a mosque? Well, it's a long story how I ended up in a mosque, but I've been to so many different religious churches, it's not even funny. According to the masses... 
The masses think that I'm crazy because I'll visit anybody's church. I will. I'll visit anybody's church. It's whatever. Like, what What do you believe? I want to know. Okay, boom, I'm there. If I want to, if I could be there, I, I'm going to be there. But you got some, some religious people, they won't step into the building of another religion. Like, what is that? Like, how are we going to break bread? Like I said before, when we get to heaven, for those of us who believe in heaven, there's not going to be a north side of heaven, a west side of heaven, a south side, and an east side of heaven. There's one heaven. Y'all trying to make it multiple heavens. What if y'all are wrong and you need to be connected with every religion? And I'm not just talking about cordial. I'm talking about, like, have like where are your Muslim friends at? Right? Where they at? Where your Catholic friends at? Like where y'all actually can have that dialogue about God. Not about your religion trying to get one to go to the other religion. I'm just talking about just God. Like God is just one thing. God is love. Is he not? But we, we, we have to get there though. And if we don't talk about it, we lost it. And not only did we lose it, but we losing the people that want to do something. The whole idea of this, this, I'm telling you, now is the time. Now is the time. I know if I had a church, it would be like, like I may kick people out that was trying to get people out. Like I may, that, that, that's why I wouldn't do it. And again, I was asked a question last week, like, would I ever have a church? And I said, if I ever have a church, I would have to be financially stable because I'm the type of person who I can't like God. If God is the leading selling point, if you will, for lack of a better term, if God is the leading selling point for what I'm here to do, I don't want to get paid because my message I want to penetrate. I don't want to get a salary from a church. We still get the tithes, the offering. We bring ye all the tithes in the storehouse, but that goes to the community, that goes to the employees, that goes to different projects. That the but it ain't, I'm not. I I can't be a pastor or in that role. I'm not even. I don't want to do it. But I was answering the question from a couple weeks ago. Like I couldn't do that because I would want my message to be clear. Right, and sometimes when you got money, you gotta. When you're getting money, sometimes your message is jaded and sometimes your message is watered down because you got that paycheck at the end of it. But I, if, if I ever do, mark my words, I will not be getting paid to be a minister or a pastor. There'll be no salary for me actually being a pastor or a minister because when I tell you guys like, yo, we going to preach one thing in this church and one thing only, and that's going to be love, like real love. Not you got to try and figure out, not I'm going to train you how to love, I'm going to teach you how to love. No, I'm talking about just simple love. Like you give somebody something, you say thank you. So you're mad at somebody, tomorrow you wake up and you can still give them a hug. You're not trying to avoid them. I would also be... The reason why I wouldn't want a salary also and that it will be going to other people outside of myself is because the whole tithe and offering thing, I think that's like, you know, I would be very critical with the tithes and offering like I would be. I'm the guy that I'm like, like, yo, this like because it's one thing to try to raise money for, let's say, cancer or raise money for like a business. But, yo. Know, yeah, you you raised this for God. That like, this what you put in, but I wouldn't be able to say that if I'm getting paid, because if I'm getting paid, then I personally, the way my mind is wired, I would feel like somewhat attached to the money, and I don't think that would be good. So I would the way I would do. I still think it needs to be talked about, you know, but. I would like to not get paid. It would just be like a side thing. Like kind of, sometimes I consider myself a call I was waiting for. Um, so I got to actually get up out of here because I got to get some work done today.
How was you guys' day? Like, you, you, you gonna have a, a, a killer day today?